Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Irvin, with another anime review. This is going to be on Golden Kamoi. Uh, this is kind of a weird thing. It, it The season doesn't really feel like it ended. Only 12 episodes were released. It feels like it should be a continuing anime, but it's not. It's going to continue in the fall, not in the summer. So if you've watched this, it is technically, I guess you can say the first season, but it was very anticlimactic especially at the end and uh yeah so that's that's gonna be part of my you know decision of where i should rate this one um genres for this one i would say uh a little bit of you know past uh i, I i'm pretty sure that this is not a real story but the, you know there's some type of history with with the um People living there, as well as uh, contemporary people. You know, you have the 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 uh, natives and then the non-natives, I guess. So you have different people there. I guess you can say it. Uh, it is action e, uh, very comical, um, dry comedy most of all. Uh, and then I would say for those uh, you know that that like watching kind of action. You know there will be some some level of gore. This one has quite a bit. You know, not in every episode, but there is some episodes where they'll cut off an ear, a bear will eat someone. I mean, there's it, some scenes are pretty gory, but I personally would not say this is a very gory anime in all. There just happens to be some scenes that are gory. So uh, the anime itself is based on this guy who is essentially a veteran um, and is trying to find these other males that um, basically prisoners that escaped and they stole some money, et cetera, et cetera. Their boss tattooed uh, the map on each and one of them. So now he's looking for these people and the few first ones or, or some of them he does kill and then draws out the map and keeps the, the, the map in a paper instead of carrying you know, flesh, how most people were doing, they were cutting the people up, skinning them. Um, throughout the journey, he encounters one that actually becomes his friend, the escape artist, and then uh, he joins in with also the little girl from the beginning, and she actually encourages him not to kill these prisoners. Um, some do die, or, or, like I said, some he does kill, but not all of them. A lot of them, he'll trap them, he'll draw the tattoo and paper and then he let them go um there is obviously other people at the same time trying to get this so there's kind of different stories going on at the same time um you get to know a little bit of you know the racism between the natives uh and the people the, the japanese um especially the natives being put down so there's some you know there's some political rightness in that it's a very interesting anime, and I don't know. There is just something about it that I really liked. Um, I wouldn't say that this deserves to be my top three of the season, of the you know spring season. And the only reason, really, guys, that I wouldn't put it in my top three is solely because of how it ended. Or ended. It was just an open-ended uh, episode. There is no, like, big boss. There was no uh, cliffhanger. It was just essentially, we're going to keep looking for these people as if there's going to be another episode coming out. If you do your research, this is going to be continuing in October it, for the fall. So it just makes you wonder why. Why they did that. Uh, and probably some legal stuff. But it just felt really uh, not completed. So out of 10, I'm going to put this one... Uh, 7.5, I think is what it deserves. Once I see the second season and if it doesn't have a conclusion, then I will gladly and put it at 8.5 or an 8. Uh, but right now, as of right now, 7.5 is what I think it deserves. So if you guys agree or don't, leave a comment in the comment section below. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. I will be doing a giveaway uh, celebrating my 1,700 uh, subscribers. So make sure you're subscribed. Uh, so you guys can can hear the news when I do do the giveaway. And uh, thank you so much for all the support and love, guys. And like always.